Hi guys, it's not new. getting a sponsorship job in the UK is increasingly very difficult by the day, most especially international students studying here in the UK. Upon graduation, it's really difficult to get a skilled workers job in the UK. And you know, without getting a skilled workers job, the only option you have is for you to apply for the post studies and work permit, which is the graduate visa. And after two years on the postgraduate study visa, you will still need to get a skilled worker job to keep you back here in the UK. So this and many more I'll be discussing in this video. So you need to stick with me to the end to get the full information. And if you are coming across my video for the first time, my name is Victor. In this channel, I give latest updates on UK and UK immigration, ways you can study abroad, ways you can migrate through the skilled workers migration route. So if this content looks exciting to you, which I know you will definitely have value for this video, don't forget to subscribe to this channel to join the amazing family you can give a thumb up so youtube can recommend this uh, content to a wider audience you can as well leave your thoughts on the comment box so guys without further delay let's get straight into today's um, video getting skilled workers job in the uk is becoming very difficult right international students who are studying here in the uk most of them are presented to applying for a study work permit because upon graduation they struggle to get a skilled worker job in and the UK. So the only option available to you as an international student after you've completed your course of study is either you apply for the graduate visa or you get a skilled worker's job. But one of the most intriguing things about all of this is how employers in the UK are not taking advantage of this situation. Most employers in the UK have resorted to the uh, tactics or act of not sponsoring international students after graduation. Most of them will tell you, you need to apply for the graduate visa before you can be sponsored to work with them on a skilled worker role. While requesting uh, a migrant to apply for the graduate visa before you can issue he or she certificate of sponsorship to work with you as a skilled worker. Applying for the graduate visa is not cheap because you need to pay for IHS fee for two years. And with the recent proposal to increase the IHS fee by 66% from um, 625 pounds to 1035 pounds that would be an additional body to international students for you to be able to apply for a graduate visa you need to uh, cough out a minimum of 2075 uh, uh, pounds for the ihs fee including visa fee everything will amount to about 3000 after you might have applied for the graduate visa before most employer will tell you to come and apply for the skilled worker job so what is the essence of asking migrants to apply for the graduate visa before you can issue them sponsorship. This is waste of funds for that of international student because it's not cheap to apply for the graduate visa. Most employers have resorted to uh, the uh, tactics of asking international students to first of all apply for a post-study work visa before they cannot sponsor them on a skilled worker visa. This is really very difficult to understand why most employers are doing this. A friend of mine whom I spoke to yesterday said that the employer told him to apply for the graduate visa and he must be on the graduate visa for six months before they can sponsor him. He has been working with this same company for more than eight months before uh, completion of his study, but they still insisted he applied for the graduate visa after six months on a graduate visa before they can sponsor him. Then where is the essence? Once you apply for a graduate visa, you need to pay visa fee, you need to pay IHS fee. Then what come? What is? What will be the outcome after you've applied for um, the graduate visa six months and you now switch to skilled worker visa? Understand the fact that you can actually uh, make requests for refund of your IHS fee, then whatever the visa fee you've paid. Within six months, you paid, I think, about six uh, seven hundred pounds for a uh, visa fee and that amount has gone and has gone uh, for nothing. So I don't understand the reason why most employers are insisting that international students uh, apply for graduate visa before they can be sponsored. At first, I was thinking the reason why these employers are asking international students to apply for a graduate visa before they can be sponsored on a skilled worker visa is because of the uh, new rules uh, made by the UK government that international students, as an international student, you must first of all complete your course of study before you can attempt to switch to a skilled uh, worker visa. But once you are done with your study, your school will issue you a completion letter showing that you've completed your course of study. With that completion letter, you can take it to your employer, informing them that you are already done with your study in the event that they are scared or they are being skeptical about 
uh, you still studying, that letter from your school showing that you're, you've already completed your course of study will give them a comfort zone that they can feel comfortable not breaking the law in the event that they want to sponsor you. Because some persons can be, um, can be funny while they are still studying, they can decide to lie to the employer that they are done their uh, course of study as such. They, want, um, they will now request for uh, sponsorship from that same company which I understand most companies, they are trying to play safe not to run foul of the law by sponsoring an uh, international student or migrant who is currently studying here in the UK because it has already been passed into law that as an international student, you cannot switch to a skilled worker visa while you are still studying. So, but once you are done with your study and your school has issued a letter of completion of course of study that you can take to your employer to let them have that confidence that you indeed You've studied, you've completed your course of study, and they can, uh, you are eligible for skilled worker sponsorship. Even with that letter, some employers are still insisting international students should, uh, first of all, apply for the graduate visa and be on the graduate visa for a couple of months before they can be sponsored. So this act is really um, disturbing because the cost of applying for a graduate visa is really expensive. You need to spend close to three thousand for uh, an individual if you're applying for a graduate visa for two years. And for those who have dependents, you need to now calculate that amount by the number of dependents you have, right, before you can be able to apply for graduate visa. And within a few months into your graduate visa, you now switch to a skilled worker visa, which you also need to pay a visa fee to apply for your skilled worker visa. Well, I don't know the reason why some of these employers are doing this, but guys, so you can leave your thoughts on the comment box, if whatever you think about this uh, issue of employers requesting international student migrants who have already completed their course of study to apply for graduate visa before they can be able to, uh, to get sponsorship from that company. Leave your thoughts on the comment box. There are some issues that have been taken up in the past that people come across them and one or two persons will take it up before you know it will not become, it will not form a public and discussion and at the end of the day a positive result might just come out of it. So guys, I start to share this thought with those who are listening to me. And if you are an international student and you find yourself in this uh, difficult situation where the employer you are working with is asking you to apply for a graduate visa before they can sponsor you, you can as well leave your thoughts and let's see how it goes from here. So guys, we've come to the end of this video. If you gain value for this video, don't forget to subscribe to this channel to join the amazing Evergreen family. Leave your thoughts on the comment box and you can give a thumb up to this video so YouTube can recommend to a wider audience. See you in my next video.